Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp. Today, we're going to talk about printing from SketchUp. Okay, so a little bit of a preamble here. Uh, these videos, these Square One videos, are targeted at SketchUp Pro. Uh, if you're using SketchUp for web, you're probably noticing there's some difference in UI, like sometimes pretty severe differences. Uh, the functionality for the most part is very similar, but where things are, how they work, we primarily have been focusing in this series on SketchUp Pro. This is one of those times where what you can do in Pro and Web are very different. If you have SketchUp Pro, you already have access to layout. Layout is the preferred method of taking your SketchUp model and positioning it in 2D space and printing it out. With layout, you can do things like dimensions and text and title blocks and print to scale, all that kind of stuff. If you have layout and you haven't used it yet, you can check out our Let's Talk Layout playlist. We'll link to it down in the description. That's going to take you to the basics of how to take your model and put it into layout's 2D space before printing. Printing directly from SketchUp is still an option, but you're going to be limited as far as what you can get for output. Uh, it's basically a screenshot mechanism where it takes your model as exists on the screen and sends it to a printer. We'll still cover it right now, but know that what we're looking at here is very basic. And if you want to get something like a shop drawing or final output, you're going to want to check out layout. But for now, let's talk about printing directly from SketchUp. Okay, so I have a little model here, uh, just a little table and chairs I created. It's all made out of rectangles, pre pretty simple geometry actually. But I want to take this and I want to output. So what I want to do first is I want to position it on the screen so I see whatever it is I want to see. So this can mean a couple things, right? So it might be I want to get it like above so I can see all the different pieces. I might want to actually look straight down from above to get a, you know, kind of a, a piece view directly from above. In this case, I might even want to do something like uh, let's hop straight to above view and then we'll go to our camera and switch from perspective to parallel projection. This is going to actually give us that view like I'd see in a plan for how I want to put these pieces together potentially, or if I'm dropping this onto a 2D uh, image of my deck or something, I want to see how it would fit. That's what I could use this view for. Uh, in this case, I want to start with something a little simple. I'm just going to go back to my camera, go back to perspective, and get kind of a three-quarter view. I just want to see, I want to see this thing for all that it is and just print it out. I just need a hard copy. I want to show somebody what this thing I'm working on looks like, something like that. I go to File and scroll all the way down here to Print. Now, this is the Print UI. This is very, very simple. Uh, a bulk of what's over here on the right is going to change depending on your operating system and the printer you have set up. So this just happens to be the printer that I have at home and uh, the options that show up. This gets passed through from the operating system. This isn't actually part of the UI. The important part is what's over here. This is the preview of the printout you're about to get. You can see I have this teeny tiny little representation of my model inside of this eight and a half by 11. The paper is controlled by the printer. So this is just a letter size page. And here's my little tiny drawing. It's tiny because it's showing everything that I have out here. So see all this space? It's basically cropping this this page to this size. So if I hit cancel, if I want to make that bigger, what I want to do is I want to get up here and blow this up, maybe as big as I can get it in the screen. So it's not lapping off. Oh, there it is a little bit. I'm going to plunge a little bit there. So something like that, if I go to file, print there, you'll see a big difference. There we go. See how it fills up my page a little bit more? So it does actually look at this whole visible portion of your screen. So one of the things you can do to get more page, so fill up your page better, is to actually resize your SketchUp window so it's closer to what you're looking at in the drawing. Or use your page, your, your printer setup to print to landscape because landscape is more properly oriented to a screen than uh, a vertical portrait picture like this. From here, like, like I said, this is very simple. Hitting print is going to send this page directly to my printer. That's all there is to printing from SketchUp. You do have some additional options. Down here in the corner, I can open in preview, which will take this printout and open it in my local preview. I could save as a PDF. Um, 
I can send, save. I have some different options. This will change also based on your operating system. It might look a little different here, but I do have some options, basically just different ways to send this. So rather than directly to a printer, what are other ways I could spit this drawing out? Otherwise I hit print and this will get sent to my printer and come out. So what are some more, just, just uh, that's, that's a little, not, not quite enough for a video, right? That's too simple. Um, but that's the thing to remember with this is it is simple. There's not multiple views. There's not scaling the drawing. None of that stuff exists. It's taking what's on your screen and printing it straight out. I don't know if you noticed, but it was in total white. So it doesn't matter what my background looks like. It's just going to come out just my model. That's all it's concerned with. And it's whatever's on the screen. So if I zoom into something like this and I go to file and I say print, that's what's going to show up. Look at that. Just cropped, zoomed in like that. There are views that are I might want to actually consider outputting. Like I said, that was some of the stuff that if I was looking at some of my side views, if I change my camera to parallel projection, this will get me this view. So if I go to file, print here, there we go. I can also add additional information. So if I do want to come in and put annotations on here, I call this, uh, this is a chair. And this right here is a table. <laughs> I could add that level of annotation. And when I go to file, print, that's going to show up there as well. Again, I don't have the ability to go in and put screen information over the top. I don't have a whole lot of options as far as uh, cleaning up notes or adding information beyond this. The intention of printing from SketchUp is a quick referenceable image that I could share with someone else. So it does mean like coming in and if I want to just show somebody I need to, to, you know, print to a PDF and send them a PDF, for example, that's what printing from SketchUp is all about. If you want that final output, that is where you're going to want to hop over and probably check out layout. But for what it is, for just getting your model onto a piece of paper, printing for SketchUp is very, very simple. So I'm not trying to, to undersell what this was, but very simple. But we do have a lot of people who ask, you know, how, how do I set the scale for my output? How do I add a title block? In print, the print command literally takes what's on your screen and sends it to your printer. Like I said, there are advantages doing that, getting that PDF or that image output directly from there. It works. It does exactly what it says, but it's not going to let you actually kind of develop a document. That is what a layout is for. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week, including one of these square ones. You'll be notified of any and all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please do leave us a comment down below. Do you use layout now? Do you want to learn more about it? We like making these videos a lot, but we like it even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.